first, I would like to talk about our organization. The Myanmar Fisheries Federation is a private organization, and we working with the aquaculture business. So we have a different small association depending on their nature of work. We have a 10 different association according to the nature. For example, like uh, we have a shrimp association, crab association, fish farmers association, and also including the processor association. So the first thing, according to our country's uh, natural resources, we have, uh, even though we have a long coastal region and we have uh, aquaculture farms, according to the area, totally we have nearly 500,000 acres of aquaculture farm in our country. But one, one unlucky thing is, you know, uh, according to the, you know, the chairman, you know, most of our aquaculture business are like the extension system. So today, I also thanks to the presenter because according to their presentation, I gained a lot of new knowledge in the aquaculture business. So, so Taiwan, I think I know it's a very advanced in aquaculture technology. And once it's a really big exporters for the aquatic products. Myanmar also, we are trying to improve our aquaculture development. And we working together with the another foreign organization and the, the government also. But one weak point in our country is we have our government policy is not too much supported for our aquaculture business. This is the one of the disadvantage in our country. So we don't have a really good policy in the aquaculture business. And only I think our, our private sector, we trying to do ourselves to improve our aquaculture development in Myanmar. So according to the presentation, I'm really thankful to like Fong Yu and Lin Chen company for their nice presentation. And it's really impressive for us. So like, the, like I said before, we have a different kinds of aquatic animals product production in Myanmar. So I think in their topics, they mainly mentioned about the fish species. So one thing I would like to suggest is how about shrimp farming technology in Taiwan and how we can use this kind of uh, advanced technology in the shrimp farming. Because in Myanmar, we also doing a lot of shrimp farming uh, business in Myanmar. First, I would like to mention is you have to understand about our Myanmar, the nature of aquaculture system. Uh, our farming system is very extensive and like the farming pond size are really big. For example, like even like the fish farm and in the shrimp farm, the pond size, the smaller is like the two acre pond, 2.5 acre from 2.5 to some ponds are more than 20, 25 acres. So According to our pond size, I would like to know is how we can use this technology to match with our culture system. And uh, also to Lin Chen, I would like to know is they, they mainly mention for the Mary culture system, like the case system. But in Myanmar, we haven't developed yet about Mary culture too much. So I think from this uh, meeting, we can get more ideas and more advice from your group uh, to make a better development in Myanmar 
our aquaculture business. So thank you everybody and see you again, okay?